So De Casper had made several peels, but the one that really stood out to me was the last one. And he started talking about, you know, if you're thinking about getting rebaptized or baptized, I want this peel is for you. And at that moment, my heart started beating rapidly, and I honestly didn't know why. I was just like, "Why? What? What's happening? Are you like, are you okay?" Type of thing. And then I felt felt this strange sensation throughout my body, like something was tugging me, or as if something was, you know, telling me, you know, "Hey, I want you to stand up." And in my mind, I'm like, "But I don't, I don't feel ready. I, I just, I don't feel ready to do this." But then something came through my mind that made me realize that, you know, I'm not ever going to be ready to do this. If I get baptized, if I get rebaptized, I do it because I love God. And I love God so much that I would want to change for him and I'd want to serve him and do better just for him. And that thought started running through my mind and I'm just battling as he's doing the appeal. I'm like, should I stand up? Should I not? I'm breathing hard. I'm shaking. My heart is beating rapidly. And I'm, I just, my body feels weird too. It's like, I don't know what's going on. And while this was happening, my friend Ruby, she was praying for me and I didn't know this. And so when De Casper, he finished the appeal, he was like, so if this is, if this stands up to, stands out to you, then I want you to stand up. And I stood up. Even though I didn't feel ready, I did it for God. I did it because I want to change for Him. And I just, you know, I think that God works in mysterious ways. And, you know, He's always there for you. And I just, that, yeah, that's my testimony. And so I'm going to get baptized and rebaptized. And yeah, so that's my testimony. So just recently we had our week of prayer at Fall Creek Falls with uh, Brother D. Casper. He's part of a ministry called Unseen Media. And it was truly a blessing while he was there. Um, he spoke on a number of topics, but one of the things that stood out to me the most is um, he brought the sufferings of Christ and he really showed and broke down through the word how Christ suffered through many of the same things we, we have suffered. Um, we see in the Bible that it says that Christ was tempted in all ways, just like we were, um, but yet he didn't sin. And sometimes we could hear that and it could kind of sound general or theoretic, but um, he really helped to make it really specific. You know, some people may be dealing with food addictions. He brought out how um, when Christ was in the wilderness, he was tempted with food and he may have not been addicted to it, but he showed how he was tempted with that as well. Um, some people may have been dealing with abandonment and um, how at times he may have felt abandoned or rejected. He came unto his own people and his own people rejected him. You know, so it just showed how many aspects of our lives, how Christ could identify with us. And I thought it was very helpful because this helps to make Christ more personal in our lives. Um, and if he's identified with us as some of the same things that we dealt with, then we can more relate to him and we could come boldly to the throne of grace to, to speak to um, Jesus because we know that he could identify with us. So I was truly blessed for it. I believe many people were blessed as well. And um, as a result of it, there were some students who even decided to get baptized or get rebaptized as well. So I've been blessed and I believe many of the students have been blessed as well. So I've been very grateful for it. So the past week we had the week of prayer at uh, Fall Creek Falls. And week of prayer went really well for me. D. Casper spoke and he's, he's a wonderful speaker. And it was a really big blessing to hear his testimony and to see how God has worked in his life throughout the years. And what really, really interested me is God took D. Casper, someone who was super rebellious against everything, and someone who just really did not like to speak in front of people, and he made D. Casper into the man he is now. He's speaking to different schools. He, he still has a fear of speaking, but he is slowly getting over that fear and I just want to uh, say that week of prayer was a really really good experience for me I know it was for a lot of other people and I could I could definitely feel God's presence there like he was talking um, about the silence of God well in that moment 
there was not any silence to God in that room where we were having the meetings. I felt God's presence every night. Yes, there were some distractions, but I still felt his presence there. And I'm just hoping that people who watch this video will get to know Jesus as DeCasper does. And yeah, just have a blessed day.